Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Transformers Ascension Season 1, Episode 6, Rules of Engagement, made on the Crosshairs Production YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out my previous reactions to the other episodes, remember the playlist card is going to be at the top here. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as Crosshairs Productions YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. Episode 5, Compromises. The Red Shard is a very powerful substance, very destructive substance. It's able to destroy anything it touches, uh, any resid residual energy that's left from its presence, wherever it was, uh, you know, goes haywire and it creates some sort of whirlwind of energy and it explodes. So it's a very powerful, dangerous substance. Um, and Megatron has been imbued with this red shard by not lockdown. It was Black Shadow. Yes. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Megatron, but I think now we're seeing the effects of that red shard because you know on the Obsidian he doesn't look like he's engaging with the Decepticons, like he's out of it, like his mind is not there. So there's something going on with Megatron. Uh, I think duly to the red shard and I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens to him later on and then tread shot uh, with Optimus Prime and Grace and everybody else agreed that if Wheeljack is able to help in fixing uh, Nathan aka tread shot's human body uh, then they're going to throw him into a interdimensional prison and laser beak uh, you know got that information and sent it to the Decepticons so Wheeljack knows what the Autobots are going to do to him. I did say that this was a bad idea that they shouldn't actually do something like this but uh, you know Treadshot was f on the firm belief that this is what needs to be done. Grace accepted or agreed to it. Optimus Prime just stood there quiet <laughs> you know which was quite surprising especially from him. I don't I didn't expect him to do something like this or to accept or agree to something like this but you know he did and yeah will jack is is uh, preparing to probably destroy that human body that tread shot wants to transfer his consciousness into uh, his human body nathan um and the decepticons are about to initiate you know their plans as soon as will jack does his thing i'm sure the other decepticons are going to also spring into action and start attacking uh, the arc essentially yeah so let us see what happens in episode 6 the rules of engagement hmm. 3 2 1 go <laughs> Those eyes. Megatron, Laserbeak reports that the Ark's primary systems are offline. He is ready to deactivate the Briggs holding cells on your command. Good. Begin phase two. Free our Decepticon comrades. <laughs> At first I thought it was going to be Wheeljack commencing this operation, but it seems like uh, Megatron is the one who has the final say, who has now initiated the plan, and uh, Laserbeak is executing that plan. Hmm, okay. Get out of there! Get out of the red alert! Back in your cells! There's too many people! Red alert, get out! <laughs> I guess red alert is dead! Yikes! My 
What the hell are you doing? Whoa, Bumblebee's dead. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, okay, all right. Bumblebee's dead. Let's continue. We move on. <laughs> I think Perceptor is okay. He, he, like, he got shot in the leg, but maybe he's, like, unconscious or something. Yeah. Wow. Bumblebee. But you weren't really, like, a main fixture in this series. So, yeah. It's okay. Bye-bye. Report. running loose on Dex five through eight. One at a time, guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, after you. You started talking first. After you. Oh, I just basically. Guys, no time for this. Iron Fist, go. The Decepticons and the Brig were set free, probably by an infiltrator who managed to get into the Arc Power mainframe. Laser beak. They killed Red Alert and the others are trying to contain them. Where's Grace? Right here. I'm fine. Voice? Long story short, Decepticon attack imminent. No engines, no shields, no guns. Grace, we need to get you off this ship right now. It's f You're telling me there's no backup system? You don't have redundancy systems that will activate if the main systems go offline? Man, Autobots, you guys didn't really build this ship properly. Far too dangerous. For once, I'm more than happy to leave. You're coming too, right? No. I have to make sure the pretender body is safe and find Wheeljack. I think you can forget about that body. Wheeljack deleted the files, probably corrupted the body somehow. It's over. Anyways, we continue. <laughs> you are getting off this ship immediately. <laughs> Space Bridge Nexus has been shut down. The circuitry must have been cut at the power mainframe. Our interloper. Most likely, but there's no time to lose. I'm just with me. I'm coming too. This entire ship is about to become a war zone, so it's not as if hiding will do me much good. Uh, fine. Stay close and do exactly as I say. Hoyas, get to the bridge and help coordinate the counterattack. I will join the other Autobots in suppressing the assault. Transform and roll out. Cool. Oh, breaching pods. Okay, let's go. I shall recover the fragment myself. The rest of you may do as you please. Uh, this is... Uh, I think it's locked down, right? Yeah, I think it's locked down. Hmm. And he was the guy who killed another Decepticon to take his position. Eh, these people. Breaker, keep that force field up. I'm struggling here, Cliff. Not sure if I can. Come and get some, you turtle rabbit swans of glitches. Hold it! Trailbreaker! Oh. 
Trailbreaker is dead too. Hmm. Wow. All right. So Bumblebee, Trailbreaker, and Red Alert. Huh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I like that. No one says a word. They're just looking at his body like, Really? <laughs> You're dead? <laughs> oh, wow. Receptor! Are you okay? No. I cannot move. Bumblebee has been killed. Wheeljack escaped and the research on the pretender technology is potentially damaged and irretrievable. Your body, the cryotube's main power cells have been damaged. There should be an auxiliary system. I'm on it. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no! Set me down, Iron Fist. Which way did Wheeljack go? I do not know. This is a large vessel. He could be anywhere. Trent, there are drops of liquid on the floor here leading out of the lab. Energon? Makes sense if it is. Was Wheeljack injured at all? No, but I would imagine the Energon belongs to poor Bumblebee. Wheeljack must have been splashed with it when he stabbed the poor fellow. Tread, follow- Damn. Follow the Energon trail and you'll find Wheeljack. I'll stay here with Iron Fist and Perceptor. Stay safe. I'll be back as soon as I can. Where are the rest of the team? Engaged elsewhere. Don't let up on these Decepticons. Enough of this! Glory to Megatron! No, you idiot! Roar! Okay, were you meant to do that or was that just by mistake? <laughs> All right, glory to Megatron. Oh, I forget that most Decepticons are, you know, um, well, they're not like vehicle type trans uh, Cybertronians. They're more like um, aeroplane type Cybertronians. Yeah, sorry guys, for lack of better words, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, you know, they are prone to be flying in the air and. Uh, and it should be okay for them in space, but the uh, vehicle typed uh, Autobots and also the Insecticons, if there are any Insecticons here, it's not going to be a good story for them. Yeah. I got you! Rodimus! Why, why do they have atmosphere in a machine ship like the Ark. I mean, these guys don't need oxygen. So, what is sucking him <laughs> into space? Oh, Grace. Grace is here. So, of course, they have to have life support systems for Grace. Oh, okay. I forgot. I'm sorry. Ah, Rodimus, good luck. Oh, oh, what? Wow, Optimus Prime is losing all of his best lieutenants. First it was Bumblebee, uh, Red Alert, I don't know if he's one of his best lieutenants, but yeah, Red Alert is gone too, Trailblazer is gone too, and now uh, Rodimus is also gone. Who's next? <laughs> this episode 6 is something else, like we just cranked up from, <laughs> from 5 to 10, just like that, from, just from one episode, wow. Okay.
thought I'd see you again. Especially looking like that. You knew this would happen, didn't you? You knew the Decepticons were organizing an assault. Well, aren't you a regular night beat? I knew pretty much every detail of the Decepticons' plan, and about the small print of your deal. Think they can trick me into saving your worthless, disgusting human life? And the only things I get is perpetual imprisonment in a micro dimension. You'd make a fine Autobot. I'm sure Magnus would be proud. Shut up. Is that the best you can do? I said, I said shut, shut up! up! Laser beak? Okay. <laughs> Laser beak is dead too. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, let me just write that down here. <laughs> oh, this is getting funny. This is really enjoyable right now. Ah, oh, seeing all these main characters just die, just like that. Okay, Laserbeak is not really a main character, but you know, because Laserbeak is part of um, uh, Soundwave, so kinda, technical main character. Yeah, dead. Good. A bird in the hand. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, that was awful. What what were you saying there, Treadshot? No, 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 no. Guys? Grace, Iron Fist, hide! I warn you, hooligans, stay back. I'm armed. I know this looks like a spanner, and that's because it is, but it is probably quite lethal in the right hands. What? What happened? You guys had him. Why did you close the door? Who closed the door? Deadlock! Where have you been? We got the Autobot Brainiac here! Wanna do what you do best? Alright. Time I made my stand. Oh, I thought that was lockdown. So it's deadlock? Okay. Oh. Three, two, one. Alright, you faulty spark plugs. Hands where I can see him. I yield. Oh. Okay, alright guys, that's it with Transformers Ascension Season 1, Episode 6, Rules of Engagement, made on the Crosshairs Production YouTube channel. Ooh, Rodimus, dead. Bumblebee, dead. <laughs> Trailblazer, dead. Red Alert, dead. <laughs> Laserbeak, dead. 
and some other Decepticons that are not worthy of mentioning. I don't know their names. I'm sorry. But yeah, a lot of people died on the Ark. Um, and it's shocking, really. It's funny <laughs> and, and entertaining, but it's also very shocking. Especially with Bumblebee. Like, Bumblebee. Dead. Just like that. From Wheeljack. Wheeljack. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm still a bit shocked about that. But what made this episode even funnier, or what made Bumblebee's death even funnier, right, is the way Treadshot, Grace, and uh, what was that other Autobot's name again? I forgot his name right now. But, you know, when they entered into the room and they just looked at his dead body and they were just dead silent. <laughs> it was just so funny. That was so funny. You know, like, <laughs> they're probably still thinking in their minds, like, what? How? How is this possible? <laughs> How did you die? So, yeah, it was really funny to see that happen um, and the breaching pod scene that was quite nice I like that I like how they did that um, it reminds me of the game the Transformers Fall of Cybertron game uh, you know when the, the Decepticons were coming aboard the Ark and they were using I don't know like tentacle or cable like uh, breaching pods to um, attach themselves to the Ark and yeah the Decepticons uh, invaded the ship so it's kind of the same, it's just that with this uh, TV show, oh, not TV show, sorry, <laughs> YouTube show, uh, YouTube series uh, created by Crosshairs Production, you know, they're using breaching pods to attach themselves to the arc. So that was quite interesting to see. Um, and yeah, it seems like the Autobots are losing this battle, really. It just looks like they've been, because they were caught unprepared, you know, and yeah, Autobots, very important peop Autobots are dying here and I'm just wondering, you know, what's next? <laughs> is Megatron also going to come aboard the vessel? Um, and the Ark is defenseless, the Ark has no power to its engines. Uh, really, I I'm asking myself, how did these people build the ship, the Ark, you know? Why aren't there any redundancy systems? So that if the main systems are down, then there's backup for the backup for the backup. So that situations like this don't happen. But yeah, the Autobots didn't really think about any of that. And now they are suffering because of their incompetence <laughs> on this matter. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. But uh, Deadlock. Deadlock is a double agent. It appears that he works for the Autobots and he killed all the Decepticons that were going to uh, kill Perceptor as well as Grace and the other Autobot that was with them. And yeah, Deadlock killed them all and he's surrendering to the Autobots. So yeah, I'm assuming that he is a double agent and luckily, you know, he came when he did and he did what he did at that very moment because Grace and everybody else in there would have died, probably. And yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens next. Uh, Will Jack gets to fight another day. <laughs> he didn't die in this episode. Uh, Treadshot is a bit damaged. And I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Bumblebee. <laughs> Okay guys, that is it. Uh, remember, if you want to check out the original video as well as Crosshairs Productions YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. If you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and I'll see you guys next week, hopefully. Okay, bye-bye.